Oh my god, what happened to your arm? I broke it. How did this happen? I got hit by a car while riding my bicycle. Did the driver get out and help you? No, the car was parked. A bug flew into my eye and I could not see. But you wear glasses. Yes, but I do not have any lenses in my frames. They are strictly to show my philosophical side. Why didn't you just stop? The brakes on my bicycle do not work correctly. And by work correctly, I mean that I do not have any brakes. I ride a fixie and we don't need brakes. I am so in tune to my urban environment you would not understand. You are an idiot. So what is this new tattoo you said you got? I got it on my forearm. It's a Polaroid photo of a Polaroid photo. It creates a paradoxical view of a multi-dimensional universe. It is a postmodern representation of my love for postmodern representation. That is pretty stupid. You will regret that once you become normal like the rest of us. I do not regret it, nor do I regret my Carpe Diem tattoo across my lower back. The typeface I chose could not suit me more perfectly. I mixed the classic Helvetica font with the newer Apple Chicago font. It shows my roots for the late 1950s, as well as my love for Apple. But you were born in 1987. Your parents were not even alive during the 50s. Yup. Uh-huh. All right. I am going to go to a silent grave tonight. Can I borrow your skinny jeans? Mine are not tight enough. I want people to be able to see my fluorescent Nikes. I just got them from eBay China. The seller said they were very rare because the Nike symbol is upside down. It sounds like they are fake. They probably just sewed a Nike symbol onto a pair of crappy shoes. How much did you pay for them? $400 plus $89 for overnight shipping. I needed them for the dance party tonight. Why on earth would you spend that much on a pair of shoes? I am a girl and I have never even spent that much on shoes. It's a small price to pay for individuality. No one else at the silent rave will have them and I will be more popular. What exactly is a silent rave? A bunch of us get together in Boston Common and dance around with our headphones on. That way we can express our creativity physically and still keep our favorite undiscovered band secret from the rest of the world. Why would you want to keep your favorite band secret? Don't you want them to become popular? Not at all. Once the music goes mainstream the song becomes meaningless and I will have to find newer underground artists to listen to. Thoughts a very selfish way to be. I just got a new CD that I really enjoy. It's a band called Automatic Love Letter. Have you heard of them? Fuck no you did not. I bought that album on vinyl like three months ago WTF. So do you like the album? I don't know I have not listened to it. My record player is broken. We cannot be friends anymore since you are cramping my style. Do you know where the closest Starbucks is? I had to choose between my new shoes and this month's electric bill so I need somewhere to charge my MacBook Pro and update my blog. It's about the visual art scene. I need to upload my newest out of focus, overexposed, pinhole camera photographs of birds sitting on telephone wires I took this morning. You are a loser. I am leaving now.